Okay, folks, welcome to the uh, Option Tiger webinar series. Uh, and uh, today, uh, the agenda for this webinar is we are, how do you create a trading plan for success? Uh, uh, I think if you take a step by step approach to creating a trading plan for success, of course, you need the right kind of uh, tools and, um, and, and, and resources there. And so, we're going to introduce you to some of Option Tiger's cutting edge algos and indicators. And of course, all of this is going to be shown in a live market situation. So it's going to be a live market demonstration. Uh, this will be followed by a Q&A session. Uh, so meanwhile, if you have any questions uh, during the webinar, please feel free to type it into the chat box and I will get to all the questions at the end of the presentation because I don't want to break the uh, momentum of the presentation. So. Please do type in your questions at the end of the presentation and we'll get to them as well. So first of all, let's go take a look. Uh, and I, I think uh, many of you know a little bit about me. I'm uh, Harish Swaminathan. The one on the left is when I started learning options, uh, the image. And then the one on the right is uh, what I look like now. Uh, so it's been about 15 years and uh, I've learned options on my own. I have about 120,000 students on uh, Udemy as well as uh, my website. I have a bachelor's degree in engineering from India and an MBA from Columbia Business School in New York. So that's a little bit about me. And um, I, I, as I said, I've learned options on my own. Uh, so everything that you see here is all uh, on a, a trial and error basis, which can be expensive in the beginning uh, because you tend to make mistakes. But uh, you know, overall trial and error is a good way to learn because you learn the ins and outs of uh, of, a, of any subject, not just options. Uh, so let's get right into uh, the webinar content here. Uh, what exactly do we mean by a sound trading or an investing plan? Um, well, you know, it's a, if you break it down into steps, uh, it seems quite, um, you know, logical and it seems quite simple. But of course, in the markets, nothing is ever simple. But basically, you can break it down into these steps. Your first order of the day is to identify the right candidates for a trade. And now, all through this webinar, we'll be talking about two kinds of trading environments. One is a swing trading environment where you keep a trade on for perhaps a week, two weeks, three weeks, uh, or maybe even four weeks. And then there is an intraday trading environment where, uh, you, you know, because many people are interested in intraday, there is a lot of uh, uh, high reward possible on an intraday. So. Uh, regardless of what kind, or you can even go long term, you can even look at three months and six months and nine months if you're just a regular buy and hold kind of investor or uh, buy and tweak under certain circumstances. Uh, you can also use all of these tools for a longer term investment uh, uh, horizon. But basically the steps are you need to be able to identify the right candidates for the trade. Once you identify the right candidates, you want to look for an opportunistic entry. So what do you mean by an opportunistic entry? It's a high probability edge to the trade. Nothing is ever 100%, but when things are lined up, then that's what you call a high probability edge to the trade. And so that's an opportunistic entry. Once you enter, the next step is you want to be able to stay in a winning position as long as possible. So you don't want to get out too quick because many people tend to uh, uh, cut their winners uh, short. Now, it's obviously you cannot ever buy at the lowest and sell at the highest. That is not possible. And what you want to do is to be able to catch about 60, 70, 80 percent of the move. And that makes a fantastic trade. So similarly, you want to exit the trade at the appropriate time. And, and, and finally, of course, this is important because not all trades uh, go according to plan. And whatever your tools and indicators that you might be using, uh, things can change in the market, things can change in your trade and therefore you need to have a tight control on risk management and trade management. So what we're going to introduce and we're going to go into the platform, I'm going to show you of course all of these, we're going to introduce five proprietary algos and indicators to achieve this plan uh, consistently and consistently meaning, uh, you know, like I said, whether it's uh, day trading, swing trading or long term investing, you want to be able to uh, use this plan uh, consistently. So that's what we're going to look at. So the first step is, of course, identifying what are the right candidates. And so what we have here 
is a powerful scanning system. These are also proprietary indicators. And this is obviously the starting point for creating a successfully, uh, successful trading plan. So which is identify the best candidates. And like I said, we're going to look at two different uh, trading environments. One is the day trading and one is the longer term swing trading. When I say longer term, it's longer than day trading. Uh, swing trading can be about a week, 10 days, two weeks, uh, whatever it is. And uh, these indicators work on your watch list on Think or Swim by TD Ameritrade. So at this point, I must say, if you don't have Think or Swim, or if you use some other platform, actually I use some other platform as well. Uh, if you use some other platform, you can always open a Think or Swim account with a minimum $100 and you will get access to real-time data. You can put all of these indicators in there. These two indicators, the day trading and the swing trading scanners, they give you five different states for every one of your stocks on your watch list. So at this point, what we're going to do is uh, let's go over to the platform. And I just want to show we are, we're going to look at these indicators in a detailed manner. But on the left, you'll see my watch list. I have the watch list of about uh, 25 to 30, mostly financials, mostly tech, and uh, then some, uh, uh, some kind of miscellaneous uh, stocks as well. But these are mostly NASDAQ stocks, uh, the ones that move quite a bit and uh, make, it makes it for interesting trading. And so you can see there are two columns here. One is called the day trades and one is called the swing trades. So into both of these indicators, uh, a wide number of parameters is fed and then it tells you what is very bullish, what is very bearish at that particular point in time. Right now, they're all stagnant. Uh, once the market opens, you'll see the day trades column uh, really uh, get active. The swing trades column will not get active on a minute by minute basis, but it will get active uh, every now and then. So let's see what we mean by this. So I have Starbucks here. And so I'm going to link it uh, to, uh, to the, uh, you know, to the charts. So here it says on the swing trading environment, so, uh, Starbucks is very bullish. So, you know, what, uh, what exactly are we looking at? So let me move to a daily chart that will give us a better idea of what we are talking about. So here, this is a one year daily chart. So if you, look, if you actually go down like this, this is what it looks like. This is, of course, the ES futures. And on, on our swing trading watch list, you're looking at Starbucks. So let's take a look at Starbucks. Why is this uh, bullish? Now, sure enough, you can see in the last few two weeks, three weeks, Starbucks has been moving up nicely and steadily. And so you will see some indicators here. We will get to that. Uh, the next indicator we are going to talk about is all these red and green dots. We have a, uh, uh, that is the multi time frame trend. So let's go back to our presentation here. So the goal of these scanners is to identify uh, what are the best candidates at this particular time. And so once that is done, then you want to understand the trend because that's the next step. Okay, which stocks are trending bullish or bearish? It doesn't matter because if you use options, you can you can play both sides of the market. You can use calls to uh, for, for a bullish trade. You can use puts for a for a bearish trade. So the multi time frame trend indicator is the most powerful, versatile and flexible trend indicator. It captures price action trends on all chart, chart uh, time frames. So which means you can have a one day, one minute chart. You can have uh, a one year daily chart. You can have a three year weekly chart. It doesn't matter. And it gives you deep trend analysis on five different levels in a single chart. This is very, very powerful because on one single chart in a visual manner, you, you can know on five different time frames, uh, you know, what is the trend? So uh, let's, let's go back to, uh, to, uh, to, our, uh, uh, to our Think or Swim and let me explain this. So let me uh, zoom in a little bit. So what you're looking at are all these dots here, all these dots here. So there are five, as you can see, there are five levels of trends. And then you'll see one master level trend over here, right on top of those five. So if you're looking at Starbucks, the, uh, the lowest uh, level, uh, the lowest row rather, uh, is the time frame of the chart itself. So which is the one day, it's a, it, it, it's a daily chart. And the next level is configurable. And you can see over here, I have two days, three days, four days, week. So on the study itself, you can uh, you can actually configure these things. So on the multi time frame trend, uh, you can say, okay, the, the next 
always the lowest row is the time frame of the chart, which is a one day chart. Then you can say the next time frame is two days, three days, four days and a week. And that's good for a trade that, that you want to last for about a week or two or three. So, uh, so as you can see, the next level is the two days. Then we have the three days. The third row is the three days. Uh, the fourth row is the four days and the fifth row is a week. So what this is telling you on Starbucks is Starbucks has been bullish from March 30th. And if you see one red dot, especially at the lowest level of the time frame, uh, you know, at the lowest level, at the lowest row, which is the daily chart, you don't need to get uh, shaken out because of that. Once you see two or three red dots come in, then the trend is ending. So right from March 30th, you can see that Starbucks has been on a bullish trend. So March 30th is right here. Starbucks was around $100. And then uh, in the last uh, two to three weeks, it has moved up to 111. So you can imagine if you had a, uh, a 105, uh, slightly out of the money option, that would be up about 200, 300% here right now. So that's the way these works. And then when all the time frames are aligned, so which means you have either green dots all over or you have red dots all over, then this master level indicator gets lit up and that tells you everything is aligned and uh, this is a good time to go in for a trade. The next level of indicator here is the custom RSI. We will get to that. Let me go back to the presentation and then uh, we'll come back to uh, the custom RSI. So this is what uh, the multi time frame uh, trend is. It works for intraday, it works for swing trading, it, it works for long term uh, trading and investing. Uh, strategies as well. Uh, it is a visual representation with a master level indicator. So this makes it an absolute no-brainer tool to get in and out of trades. So the master level indicator tells you exactly precisely that all five time frames are aligned. So this is when you go in for a trade. So the first step was identifying the candidates. The next step is identifying the trend. Now, uh, the, uh, this indicator works for any chart. So it could be, you know, even if you're a stock trader if you're, and, and not an options trader, you can, you can look at these charts and you can buy or sell the stock or short the stock, whatever the case might be. Uh, and of course, you can use options. It works on ETFs, it works on futures, it works on gold, it will work on oil, it will work on bonds, it works on any chart. So uh, you know, anything that can be put on the chart, uh, these indicators will work on them. So the next one I want to talk about, actually, I don't want to talk about the SPX ticks right now because this is an intraday SPX or an index uh, trading. It's, it's a market internals indicator and it's a powerful, powerful indicator of market breadth, but it works only for intraday trading. So which means you need to uh, get in into your trade and you need to close the trade as soon as the trend is over uh, within that day itself. Maybe you'll be in the trade for half an hour, one hour, whatever, but you, you, uh, you'll you need to get out of the trend. Actually, why not? Let me just go ahead and show you that as well. So we will go into the SPX ticks, custom RSI. And, uh, and, and, and the good thing is all of these work on um, uh, together. So all of these indicators complement each other. And so you're just getting more and more confirmation from uh, one indicator and if two indicators and three indicators are aligned, it, it just gives you so much more of a high probability edge uh, to the trade. So this is the SPX trading action yesterday. As we know, yesterday was a bearish day, but let's see what happens. Uh, you know, it starts off uh, a little bit down. And um, so what you're looking at here, this, uh, this line that is going up and down, that is the SPX ticks. And that gives you the market internal uh, you know, situation. So as soon as the markets open, uh, the S&P 500 has 500 stocks in it and each stock is either ticking up or ticking down. And so what happens with this indicator is it, it calculates a cumulative tick. So it calculates how many stocks are ticking up, how many stocks are ticking down, the difference between the two. Uh, there is of course a zero line and when the SPX ticks is above the zero line, there's a bullish uh, trend. If it's below the zero line, it's a, it's a bearish trend. So as you can see, it, 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 it was near the zero line for almost like an hour or two, but then it started cracking yesterday. So, and then you can see it goes deep down. So now you know the SPX internals are very, very weak. So which means perhaps 400, 425 out of the 500 are trading lower. And so this tells you 
that it's a great day for a bear, uh, for a bearish trade because uh, the internals have to significantly improve before uh, you can uh, you know you can think of a bullish trade. So all through the day yesterday, the SPX ticks were saying it is negative. And granted, you'll see some green over here. But bear in mind, this is deeply below zero. This is deeply below zero. So, um, you know, it is a bearish day nonetheless. So you wouldn't want to take a bullish trade at all yesterday, uh, you know, especially on an intraday basis. And then if you look at the, uh, the multi time frame trend, which is the MTFT, you don't see any green on the master indicator at all. It's all red. So you, you know that this is going to be, uh, this is a bearish day and you're looking for bearish opportunities. So what kind of opportunities are we looking for? So you, you want to catch it when all of it, is, uh, you know, all of it is aligned. And I'll come to the customer RSI next. This is also very powerful. But let's just look at this little time frame here to begin with, right there. And if you zoom in on that, you can see that uh, the SPX ticks uh, starts going negative over here. And then you have the master level indicator is, is lighting up. And then, of course, uh, as I said, if you just see one dot, it, it may not be time to get out of the trade. But if you see two or more dots, then it's time to get out of the trade. But even though, you know, if you see some temporary up move, you, have, you put a bearish trade here, you come all the way. And if you're, if you're, and you're seeing two, two green ticks on the, SP, on the SPX ticks, oh, okay, you've got enough profit, you can get up. Uh, there's no issues there. But it's telling you that the market environment is still weak. Yes, you see a green dot on the lowest level. But if you look at it further, uh, sure enough, uh, it, it goes even further down. So that's, uh, you know, that's the SPX sticks. You can trade the SPX. Uh, you can trade the SPY. You can trade the NASDAQ index, which is the NDX. Uh, you can trade um, you know, the ES futures all using the SPX ticks. So yesterday, you know, the SPX ticks told you this was a very, very bearish day. It ended up, the SPX ticks ended up negative 4,000. So way, way, way below zero. And uh, you had plenty of opportunities to take some nice bearish trades here and you would be doing fine. So that's as far as the SPX ticks is concerned. Let's talk about the custom RSI. So the custom RSI is also a confirmation uh, indicator. So like I said, they all work together. And when you see all of them aligned, it's the perfect time to take a trade. So custom RSI. So if you've, uh, I, I think many people may have used the normal RSI. The normal RSI uh, shows you an overbought and an oversold condition. So which means once it moves into the overbought, um, your uh, traditional wisdom says, Okay, you you need to get out of the trade if you uh, you know if you bought it if you've got a long uh, call option or if you bought the stock or whatever uh, because it's going to turn around. Similarly, if it's below in the low, it, 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 if it's on the lower side in the oversold category, uh, they'll say this is the time to buy because it's going to come back, and that's true because the normal RSI is designed to show that. However, in this case, the normal RSI is customized. Uh, to give you a sense of persistence. So which means you will stay in a winning trade as long as you can. Like I said, if you capture 70, 75% of the move, that is a fantastic trade. So what? that's the goal. You, 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 know, you can't get in at the lowest point and get out at the highest point. That's not possible uh, on, a, on a consistent basis. But if you can catch 70, 75% of the move, then you're doing very well. So the custom RSI also complements the MTFT and SPX ticks. So all of these put together gives you a fantastic set of tools uh, for any kind of trend, any kind of uh, uh, trading environment, day trading, swing trading. So the custom RSI gives you a good uh, trade entry as well as it confirms a good exit point. So let's go ahead and look at the custom RSI now. And you know, meanwhile, we're waiting for the markets to open. And uh, so once it opens, then, uh, you know, we'll, uh, uh, we'll, go, we'll go check these things out in a live market situation as well. So I'm going to zoom in on this area here. You can see. So the, the custom RSI is the one in the middle. So once it goes into the over, you know, oversold, it doesn't mean you get out. It's telling you to stay there, stay in your trade, stay in your trade, stay in your trade all the way till here. That's when you get out of the trade. So let's uh, let me uh, zoom out a little bit. So you can see from here, the custom RSI is telling you, okay, you need to be in a bearish trade. SPX sticks is already telling you that. 
the MTFT's already master level indicator is red. So let's say you got in at the SPX at a level of 4097, if you bought a put option, let's say, and you are in this trade all the way till about here, even here, it just pops up, the custom RSI just pops up, but uh, once again goes down. So similarly, and you, you, you could have exited anywhere here. So from 4097 to 4084. So that is about 15 points on the SPX. And even if you had an add the money option, that option is going to be increasing by about seven and a half dollars. So you can imagine the kind of returns or the rewards you can pick up with uh, this kind of uh, 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 this kind of a toolkit. So uh, once again, if you look at it, this is of course, we're looking at the day trading environment. Uh, the SPX sticks does not work for the uh, for a swing trading environment. For the swing trading, we have to depend on our uh, the watch list indicators. We have to depend on the MTFT and the custom RSI uh, because the SPX uh, ticks uh, calculates market internals, and so for every day the market internals is going to change. So today it looks like a slightly bullish day. We've got the Nasdaq futures up uh, 120. Uh, ES futures not so much. It's about five point five, uh, you know, five six points. So we'll see when uh, once the market opens, uh, we'll see uh, how all of these plays out. So now what I want to do is I want to go back to the daily chart. Now uh, you can you can see that the Starbucks was very bullish. We already saw that. Now it says PayPal is very bearish. So why is PayPal bearish? And here you go. And if PayPal actually now this is the right time to get into the trade. You've seen two master level dots and you can see that the custom RSI has also dipped into the oversold but it's not oversold technically because you know the custom RSI can stay there so you know when do you jump in you know that's that's the decision you have to make you know, do you want to jump in at the first dot i don't think so but once it starts developing the you know you, uh, you see two or three master level dots you can on the other hand you can also uh, get in slightly early and you'll pick up a better return. So it all depends. And you know, if you can manage your trade uh, properly, then uh, you can get in a little early with four dots as also. Uh, but bear in mind, you might have to take some quick actions in case uh, the, the stock turns around and goes against your uh, uh, goes against your indicators. But the indicators will tell you, you know, they'll tell you, you'll see, uh, you know, if you're looking at a bearish trade, you'll see some green dots pop up. On the custom RSI, you'll see that it will immediately pop out of the uh, pop out of the oversold and go into the neutral territory. And once it you know moving higher and towards the overbought area, there you know that that's the time you have to get out. But in general, you want to wait for a, a couple of dots uh, to to get some persistence. Here you can see nice custom RSI moves into uh, the uh, you know moves into the bullish area. So let's just focus on these guys here till here. You know, it goes all the way, but you'll see you uh, you know you'll see a couple of red dots here, and you might want to get out of the trade. That's fine, but over here you can see that uh, the custom RSI moved into uh, into the into the over uh, you know overbought, which is you know it moves into the bullish zone. Uh, let's just uh, wait for the markets to open. Uh, Going to open in about a minute or so. Okay, so um, I was telling you that Zoom uh, seems very bearish on the on the swing trading column. As you can see here, Zoom is definitely bearish. It's been bearish for about uh, 10 to 12 days already. So if you were watching uh, Zoom, then you can uh, take this uh, uh, take this bearish trade. Okay, so today we're going to take a look at uh, some fresh examples. We did uh, we did see some yesterday. I'm going to uh, first try to focus on the on the swing trades, and then we can get to the uh, the day trades uh, part. So for the swing trades, we need to go to the daily chart, uh, which is a one year daily chart, and you can see ES futures up uh, nicely today, uh, up about 31 points on the back of uh, some good results from Meta, things like that. Uh, but we have a couple of new stocks on the very bullish on the swing. So yesterday we looked at Starbucks, uh, which was very bullish, and uh, you know that uh, remains so. And then we also have uh, Goldman Sachs and Apple was just bullish over here. You can see so Starbucks has been in a nice bullish run for the past uh, three weeks or so. Uh, now we also have Goldman Sachs here, which is bullish. So you just want to wait for all the indicators to show up and then 
uh, you can decide on whether this is the right time to take a trade. So Goldman Sachs also has been bullish. Uh, just a couple of uh, you know red dots about two weeks ago, and then it's all single dots. So uh, actually went down the last uh, a couple of days. So uh, may uh, maybe a good entry here for uh, for Goldman Sachs as well. Uh, we can also see Mastercard is also on the on the very bullish over here. Let's go take a look at uh, Mastercard as well. And we also have Apple. So uh, these are new from yesterday. So you can see how on a daily basis, uh, these um, uh, uh, these watch list indicators will change uh, because new data has come in. So here we go. So uh, looking at Mastercard, obviously, it's got a nice uh, earnings report over there. Uh, you can see it just reported uh, today, I believe, or yesterday. So uh, it reported today, I think. And uh, so it's uh, it, it's showing bullish, but you can see the MTFT is not ready yet. It's not ready yet. Neither is uh, the custom RSI. So MasterCard, you would have to wait. Even though this shows uh, a very bullish, you would have to wait. Uh, let's go take a look at Apple. Uh, Apple is also up about a couple of dollars today, but uh, this is showing bullish on the longer term one year daily chart. So let's go see what Apple looks like. And uh, it seems to have just come into bullish because this was not there yesterday. So let's see uh, how that plays out over here. And you can see the custom RSI just starting to go into the bullish zone. And oh yeah, uh, you know, see this wasn't there yesterday, but now you can see all five are aligned. So uh, you, you would probably want to wait for one more day before you take the trade. So hopefully you've seen some good examples of how the swing trade column will work. Now let's take a look at uh, some day trading examples. So we'll go to the intraday chart and uh, you'll see that. And let me uh, also sort it on uh, the um, on, on the day trades column over here. So uh, if you sort it, if you just click on it, it'll sort it and you can see all the very bullish and uh, very bearish. Uh, so there's quite a few different candidates here today. Starbucks we saw yesterday was also in the very bullish. Uh, now let's go take a look at uh, Goldman Sachs on a day trading basis. So this is on a day trading basis. Uh, we are in about half an hour into the trading day. So you'll have about uh, uh, 30 uh, uh, pieces of data uh, on a one minute chart. So let's see what Goldman Sachs looks like. This is of course the pre-market and uh, you can it, it's, you know, it may not be completely bullish, but uh, it, it, it is, uh, you know, you can see that uh, the custom RSI has entered the bullish zone may be coming down right now. So uh, not a great candidate. So, you know, once you go through these, you can cycle through these and then decide which is the uh, best candidate. So here we go. Let's take, go take a look at booking. Once again, I don't think booking is a very good candidate here on, on the day trading charts. Uh, and then uh, we also have quite a few others. So uh, on the day trading chart, things will change quite a, uh, quite fast. And so you know that's the one thing you have to keep in mind that it will change quite a bit. Uh, let's go take a look at Boeing. So Boeing is uh, Boeing is up four dollars. So probably a good candidate for a day trade, but you want to wait for a good entry point, uh, you know, at that time. So let's go take a look at Boeing. And then of course there is uh, stocks like Meta. Uh, that are up uh, uh, very big today. Meta is up almost 10% uh, here. So this is uh, Boeing and you can see that Boeing also, if, I think the, uh, the signal is coming from this kind of a move here, you know, very bullish, but it's given up that gain and it's gone down. Let's take a look at uh, Microsoft here. Microsoft is also on the very bullish uh, watch list here. So yeah, this is nice. You know, th uh, this is a good candidate to try and trade. Uh, so uh, obviously now we've already had half an hour, you know, it was moving up nicely. Uh, so you might want to wait for a better entry point uh, because you can see custom RSI was nicely in the bullish zone. So if you was uh, tracking Microsoft, uh, this would have been a nice day trade, even if you got in about five, 10 minutes uh, into the into the trading session here. So that's as far as Microsoft. Let's go take a look at Google. Google is also showing up on the very bullish uh, charts here. So once again, these are all, uh, you know, tech earnings have come in. So a lot of these, uh, a lot of these movements are driven by the earnings reports uh, that just happened. Once again, same thing like Microsoft, uh, Google went up nicely at the open and then now it's pulling back a little. So uh, what you want to do is just wait for uh, these, uh, uh, you know, these, uh, uh, these indicators to line up again before you take a bullish trade. You know now Google is bullish, you know the overall market is bullish. So you're looking for a bullish trade, 
but uh, you would want to wait and uh, you know and, and take the trade. So now what happens if you take the trade and then it uh, starts going against you? So there's various things. If you're using options, uh, you can always convert it into a debit spread. Uh, if you're day trading, I would always uh, just say take a long call or a long put depending on what the sentiment is. And then if it's not working out, you turn it into a debit spread and then perhaps a credit spread even if uh, even if that doesn't work. So uh, these are some of the risk management and trade management um, techniques that you have to apply. Uh, but it's uh, if you can get seven or eight out, out of ten trades right, uh, that will make up for any of uh, the trades that go against you. So this is as far as uh, all these indicators are concerned. So hopefully you've gotten a good idea of how these indicators work. Uh, all five of them work together. Uh, the, you know, the, uh, the watch list scanners are very powerful. They, they immediately cycle through your entire watch list and tell you what to look at. So just because it's very bullish here, you don't take the trade. You need to come into the chart and look at the MTFT, look at the custom RSI and then decide when to take the trade. So that's as far as the indicator demos are concerned. So now what I want to do is um, I want to go back into, into the presentation and, and tell you about the specials we are having. We are having some um, uh, very killer specials uh, uh, for the next 10 days until May 7. So uh, let me go ahead and pull that up. All right. So here are Option Tiger specials. These are uh, on for the next uh, 10 to 12 days until May 7th. Now, e generally, each of these algos, the MTFT itself goes for $24.97. The SPX sticks goes for $9.97. And you can find all of these under the products menu on our website, optiontiger.com. Uh, you can see that we have a, a complete options curriculum. So this is options beginner, options intermediate. Each of these modules has about 15 to 16 courses. The options mastery is uh, a set of nine strategies that give you the most elite techniques uh, while trading options. You can apply it to any trade that you, uh, that you take on and uh, especially in terms of adjustments and things like that. And then, of course, you have uh, things like the SPX sticks. These are all the proprietary algos and indicators. Uh, you can look at the multi time frame trend indicator. And, uh, uh, it, you know, these, uh, you know, this goes for about twenty four ninety seven. dollars uh, The SPX sticks goes for uh, $9.97. Uh, uh, we do have a proprietary swing trading signals as well. And I'll, I'll, I'll come to that. Uh, then the custom RSI goes for $4.97 and each of these watch list indicators go for uh, $4.97 each. But what we have in the special today is a 65% uh, off, perhaps more. Uh, you're getting all four at $16.97. So the uh, list price for all of these is uh, generally close to about $4,000 if you add up everything. And uh, this is going for about $16.97. You can also look at the options education bundles. They are about $297 each. Uh, and then you can send us an email at info at optiontiger.com and tell us what you need. We also have the swing signal service and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you that. The swing signals is a uh, daily uh, v, uh, email and a video uh, uh, highlighting all the trades. These are the trades for uh, 2023 and these are done on a 50K uh, demo account. And uh, you can see that I've been tracking these trades uh, last year on a 50K account. We made a profit of exactly 100,000. So which is a ROI of 200%. This year in 2023, and this is updated as of today, uh, the, we've taken, a, you know, so this is only the, uh, in, uh, at the end of April year. So four months on a 50K account, we've done $32,000. So you can see that's already 60% ROI here. And we can do these numbers because we use these indicators to identify our trades and to uh, take uh, the appropriate opportunities. Uh, uh, we use the indicators in our Swing Signals program. But for you, if you want to put it onto your own uh, uh, platform, then you would need to purchase it. Uh, which is also well worth it because even one or two trades can just make up the cost of uh, these indicators. So once again, you can email us at info at optiontiger.com and just let us know what all uh, uh, products you want. Uh, this special is on until May 7th uh, and uh, you can specify what are the things you want. The more you bundle, the, uh, the more discount uh, uh, we can give you. So uh, thanks for attending the webinar yesterday. Uh, apologies for some uh, technical difficulties there. But, um, you know, here we are. I, I hope you've got a good idea of how powerful these indicators are and uh, how you can create a successful trading plan consistently. You identify, you lock the trend in and then you take the trade 
and then you do some risk management. And then of course, the exit point is also important. So all of these uh, issues are covered by these uh, algos and indicators. So once again, I'll just uh, wrap it up over here. The email ID is info at optiontiger.com. Please send us an email and let us know what you need and uh, we can put together a bundle for you. So thanks a lot once again uh, for attending the webinar and we'll speak to you soon.